Hi, my name is Greg Went. I'm the Executive Director for the Security Solutions here at Appsian, and I wanted to go over a quick demo of Click to View and Appsian 360 for you today. So launching in, some of our customers that are working with us um, on the security needs that they have, you can see we're on a global customer base. So we deal with all the different privacy and compliance issues in many different countries and with many different companies. You can see that we're in all sorts of different verticals. And when you think about the different challenges that they may have, many of them are very consistent with security, whether that's understanding privacy, protecting that data, understanding who's working with that data. So those are a lot of the challenges that we're answering on a daily basis with these organizations. When we talk about why you might want to implement click to view in your ERP data specifically, one, it's to track sensitive data views like compensation and direct deposit, social security numbers, national IDs. It allows you to see who's viewing them, how frequently, how often, um, where they're viewing it from, for example. And you'll see all of that in the demo with uh, Appsian 360 as well. Uh, additionally, from a compliance perspective, we're really working with uh, dealing with many different privacy laws like GDPR, California Consumer Privacy Act, uh, Sarbanes-Oxley, understanding what administrators are doing inside of the applications. All of those things are very important to many organizations, and it's easy to dig in and understand with click to view and protecting that data what's happening. So it, it also limits your exposure and that's important so if you have somebody looking over their shoulder looking at data that data is going to be protected by default accidental screenshots cuts down on that accidental data leakage very quickly and finally, when you're thinking about controlling access, you can enforce a stepped up multi-factor authentication as well at that particular point for somebody to view that information when they're accessing that sensitive data. So you can even take it that far as well. So now what I want to do is jump into demo for you today. From a demo flow, what I wanted to do was sign into a PeopleSoft system. I'm going to go ahead and access a couple of different pages that have a click to view on it. First off, I'm going to go into a back office page. When we're thinking about editing or accessing personal information, much information is exposed directly inside of the application when you access the personal data page. So you can see that I've uh, got all of the primary permission list to be able to edit all of the data on this page. But even in that scenario, our click to view is going to mask the information on this page. It works just exactly as designed. I click it and I'm going to be able to view the information. An important piece that occurred behind the scenes though is we're going to log everything that happened in that scenario. So that's one of the situations that we're talking about with um, being able to protect that information. If I um, refresh the screen for example that data is going to be masked again so it's only going to be exposed um, when somebody does the click to view accessing any different records it, it's going to go back to a masked value another thing is the log that really transpired and took place through that whole process as i flip over to um, our analytics a360 platform a couple of different things are going to occur. One, I want to look at the um, unmasking. So very quickly I can see, so I can understand PS1 has accessed employee ID KU0065. If I look back at the person, that's exactly who I just looked at. So you can see in real time that I can access the information. I can view that by IP address as well as where that access took place from. And also I can get the data in raw format if I want to see it that way as well. One of the last things Things that I thought I'd touch on just real quickly through this is also the fact that um, we actually had a uh, notification that came through as well with that situation so I'm going to go ahead and pull that over to the screen so you can see it so you can see that we send the notification let, letting you know what IP address the user the policy or the rule that fired to create that where it occurred inside of the system so personal data and also the key information so when you're talking about dealing with understanding compliance what users are doing inside of the system you can quickly see that implementing a click to view with the apps and 360 and our security platform will give you the controls and understanding of how users are accessing sensitive data inside of your system thank you very much